So I just want you to make sure that you're not expected to remember every single thing we talk about in here. You're really just expected to take the things that hopefully apply to you. In a group like this, it's really tough because a lot of you have different things that are important and different things that would really resonate with you. So if we were sitting in a group of three, we'd have a whole different discussion than we're gonna have in this type of a setting. This is gonna kind of give you a 40,000 foot view of a couple of different concepts that then hopefully you can take down to a lower level just on your own in some ways. And then hopefully also we can uh, work on some of those things individually at a different point maybe. So let's start off with power. Everybody doing okay? No questions as of yet? I just gotta go like this so I can catch Chris right in that corner <laughs> so I can see him over there. So power, there's different types of power. This is the first kind of power. Coercive power. Mike Tyson, right? Anybody grow up in the era I did? Mike Tyson was the baddest man in the world. You sparred with Mike Tyson? Really? Oh, I want to talk to you later then. Uh, 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 <laughs> I would have been terrified too. So this picture in my mind represents coercive power. This is base power. This is primal. This is, you're going to do it because I said so. You're going to do it because I'm going to shove you through that wall if you don't. That's coercive power, right? Does that make sense? Base, primal, caveman power. <laughs> I'm the biggest, baddest some bitch around here, and that's why you're doing what I say. Easy enough? We use this every once in a while, right? <laughs> On our kids, quite a lot, sometimes. <laughs> because I said so, with teeth gritted, yeah, coercive. So, anybody got any questions about coercive power? You have a good, clear image of what that is. So what's an example of coercive power in your day that you probably used in the last couple of days? Somebody give me a hypothetical. I'm sure it's not you. Yes, sir? Yeah, like when the superintendent tells you, you do what I say, I'm the boss, it's my job. It's my shit, what you say. Get up working with you. He said, you do it because I said so. Because I said so. And then he's going to use a couple other powers we're going to talk about here in a minute, probably right after that one. But that's where he starts. Because I said so. I'm the man. This is my job. This is how it goes. No questions. No need for... This is a, this is a monologue. This is not a dialogue. <laughs> right? You don't need to talk. You need to do. <laughs> make sense? Everybody heard that? That make it real crystal clear in your brain? Good. Reward power. What's he going to do next after he says it's my job? What's he going to take from you? Money. Your money. I ain't going to pay you then. Right? Or I'm going to, I'm going to back charge you. Or I'm going to do some more retainage on you. What's the opposite of that kind of power? What do we use all the time with our employees? Incentivize them. Incentivize them. Bonus. Right? Hey, you get that job on time, I'll pay you an extra 500 bucks. You get this done, I'll give you this. What other types of rewards are there besides just money? We're going to talk about this a lot more later, but a few other types of reward things. Vacation, Vacation time, that's a reward. I'll give you some extra time off. Position. Position. How about a, you know, in some companies it's the corner office. Well, well, thank you. I'm sorry? Just a verbal compliment. Recognition, absolutely. Oh, you guys are going to use all this stuff later. That's awesome. You said compliment? Just a plain old thank you. A plain old thank you. I mean, I'm in, I am in the South, right? <laughs> we do say thank you. I get more people that are mad at me, because I live in Colorado now, for those of you that don't know, that in, but I travel all over the place. And I, I say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. That's, that's who I am. I mean, my grandmother would not acknowledge me if I did not say yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am. That was set. So I'll say that, and, and the, they'll get offended. Why are you calling me ma'am? I call my 11-year-old daughter ma'am because you deserve respect. That's why. <laughs> Is that okay? And that really shuts them up usually. <laughs> I'm not old. I'm not saying it because you're old. Anyway, reward power. So are we clear on what reward power is? Can you see it? They're taking your money or they're giving you money. Either one could be a reward. Wish you could see that picture better. Anybody grow up in this generation? Oh, yeah. Who is that? Roscoe B. Coltrane, right? So associative power. Who has the power in this relationship? Boss Hogg. Now why does Roscoe have power then? Well, because Boss Hogg told him he's got power. Boss Hogg said, Roscoe's my boy. You do what he says, even if I'm not here. Does that make sense? Associative power. 